Hello everyone, welcome to the channel of RD Technical Learning. In this video, we will be seeing the Java program to reverse a particular number, right? So we have already covered the Java program to reverse a particular string. Now we will be reversing a particular number. Now, before that, if you are watching this video for the very first time, so I would like to repeat my tagline, please hit like button and please subscribe our channel. Please share it on the LinkedIn so that it reaches to the maximum people. These videos are absolutely free of cost. You don't have to pay anything, but at the end of the video, you have to practice these programs by yourself so that in a real time interview, when you get this kind of Java interview question, you get this kind of coding interview question, you are able to solve these kind of programs, these kind of uh, questions those are asked during the real-time interview so let's go back to the program but before that let's understand the logic what is the logic behind that okay so let me quickly share my screen there is a uh, very less logic and it's again one of the simple program right you are very capable you are you know, having good peace of mind, you are having a lot of knowledge that you would be able to solve these programs by yourself in a real-time interview. Just trust yourself. So the program is reversing a number in our favorite programming language that is Java. Okay, so now let's say if you take number as uh, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, okay, the reverse would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, if we take 5, 4, 3, the reverse would be 3, 4, 5. So here, one thing is clear that at the end, we have to compare two programs, the original number which we are taking and the reverse of it. Sorry, we don't have to compare, but we will be reversing the same number. Okay, so now what we will do, we will actually start dividing this number and we will be playing with the concept of quotient and remainder. So what is quotient and remainder? So earlier during your maths days, we used to had uh, this kind of division operators, right? And uh, if you remember your tuition teacher, they would be telling, oh, you haven't divided it properly. What is the remainder? So all those things. So those days are back. Okay. So uh, if we divide five, four, three, by 10 okay so i'll be using modulus operator i'll be writing the real program in id also be patient just understand the logic for now and please do hit the like button so if i use modulus operator here so 10 it will come 5 or 50 and uh, right so you will get in the modulus operator s3 the remainder you will get s3 so this is a game of remainder and quotient. And in the quotient, you will get 54. Okay, so divide 543 by 10, 10 54 is a, you will get 540 and three will be the remainder. Quotient will be 54. Now we'll be using this quotient as our next number, okay? because we need the solution to reverse a number. Okay, so this thing we will be doing. Earlier it was 543. Now we take 54. So in the second iteration, we'll be dividing 54 by 10. What we will get remainder as 10 fives are 50, right? We'll get re uh, remainder as four this time and quotient as 50. Sorry, 5. Right? 10 fives are 50. So this is your second iteration. What you are seeing? Are you seeing something? Yes. The suspense of the movie is about to come. See, the first reverse number you are getting as the, rever as the remainder. The second reverse number you are getting as the remainder for the second iteration. So what will come in the third iteration? Right. So that's how we will be solving this program. Let me open IDE now. See, uh, you don't have to 
worry or take stress about how you are going to learn Java. Just love Java and then you will be able to learn Java. Okay. So now let's take a new class. Let's let me check this checkbox. I am using ID as Eclipse. Okay. You can use IntelliJ. Any any ID you can use. You can also run programs in Notepad++ Notepad. But I would request you to use ID because this will improve your hands-on experience in uh, using IDs. Okay, so reverse. Hmm. Let's take one number, integer number equal to 543. And then for, so what, what we will do now, so if we will see that program, right? We need two more variables. One is the remainder. Another will be reverse. And we'll keep value as zero for now. We'll start using that loop. So what we will do is we'll use while loop here. While the number is not equal to zero okay we'll be running this thing reverse equal to so do you remember during the explanation i mentioned you we have to take those remainders right so what we will do is we will multiply one of those numbers that we are getting as the remainders and then we will reverse it because we have to at the end, we have to bring them together. Okay. So reverse equal to reverse into 10 plus remainder. Okay. What is remainder that we have? Right. Whichever remainder we will get that we will add. But now what is remainder? How we will get remainder? So we'll write one more line here your favorite line and my favorite line it is number modulus of 10 making things easy okay straightforward now if you remember so we have to take the quotient in the second iteration earlier it was 543 it will be reduced to 54 then it will be reduced to 5 so we have to take the question so number equal to number divided by 10 so this thing modulus operator will fetch you remainder this thing will fetch you the quotient okay simple and then your favorite line system dot out dot println Okay, ignore this console. This was one of the program that we had recorded on 31st of December, right? Today is New Year. Today is 1st of January. 345. Okay, so this was a simple program to reverse a number, to reverse a particular number. You got 345. Now let's take uh, any other number. What is your favorite number? Let's take uh, 569. Okay. It's 965. Okay. So this was a simple program on reversing a number in Java. Please do like, share and subscribe our channel. And thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned for more updates.